I mean, that's great for us because we get to, you know, see our guys versus, you know, two of the best receivers in the league. And many teams don't have that ability to say we can do that and we get to practice against those guys every day and get to see where we are against those guys. And, you know, AJ has been really good and Julio has been out here. Both of those guys have been good and giving us a good look at what we're going to see during the regular season. You see a technical benefit to that to say, you know, this work against Julio or this work against AJ. Well, it just depends on if you're playing a different, you know, team and they have similar skill sets, you know, some some techniques you could use versus different guys. So it just all depends. But every indi um, individual receiver bring different things to the table. You seem a little bit more animated individually, a little more expressive. Am I reaching there? Uh, you say animated? <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's animated, but we're just we're just demanding that these guys do what we're asking them to do every day and, you know, just getting on them when they don't do well, encouraging them when they do do well, and just, you know, just bringing some energy to the practice field, you know, just to improve every day. I'm sorry you yeah. answered about, about Christian. Mm -hmm. what, what's holding him back in terms of your I don't know. I just think with any young player, it's a process. And Christian has good days and days, you know, we'd want him to be more consistent. But I've been pleased with Christian. He's came in in OTAs and been really good for us and came out here in camp and been showing up every day and competing. And, you know, to practice um, the other day, doing some situations, he had some great plays for us and just showing him like that's the expectations of him. And with all young guys, there's going to be some ups and downs. But the more you can be consistent, the quicker you can have um, success in this league. How's Caleb respond on stuff like that? Yeah, I don't, I don't, Caleb is not a guy to get down. He's just hard on himself because he wants to do well. And when he doesn't do well, it doesn't get something right. He, you know, he gets on himself, but he's conscientious. He wants to be out there. He wants to take reps. He's good in the meeting rooms and he comes out here. And he pays attention and he works at it. And that's that's a good thing. And I'm, I'm pleased where he is so and, right and now. Just right now, we're just focused on just getting Caleb, you know, up to speed when he does get the team. And then once we get there, we'll just see how we, you know, how that fits with the different pieces. But right now, we're not looking to move guys or anything like that. That's just natural for him. I didn't have to coach him up to do that. He's been a great vet um, addition to the meeting room. He has all the younger guys sitting around him. He coaches them up. When I give him pointers, he's giving them pointers. But he's been taking, you know, Christian on the side, doing some um, different drills to work with him from a technique standpoint and helping him out through his experiences and just trying to help Christian. I mean, Caleb improve. All that is important because these young guys can get everything, you know, that they need because it's a process. You know, it's, it's different than coming from college. You, know, you got some of these guys that sat out last year, so it's, you know, it's that part of it as well. But he's been good. You know, everything we've given to him, he's like a sponge. He's taking it in and applying it, and I, I'm really pleased with him. Um, Shane's just demanding. He's very knowledgeable of what we're doing, have a great concept of the front end and the back end, and he relates well with the players. And, you know, we're excited about, you know, what we have this year, and we're excited to get out there and, you know, go put it on, on the field. Um, he's, he's just been really involved with everybody. If he sees something, he coaches every position up. It's not just he's just sticking to one position. So the guys, you know, relate to him, listen to him, and he knows what he's talking about, you know, from every position on the back, um, on the defense. How's Elijah and Chris kind of giving him a good push, but also being an example to follow out there? Yes, because Chris, Chris has been awesome, you know, just got to have since we got him here last year. He's just a guy that comes in and works every day, does what he's supposed to do. And he's been helping Elijah through this process and this transition that he's been making. So they have a really good relationship. And Chris really helps him out in the meeting room as well. What about the energy that they embrace? How, how can you categorize that attitude as you practice it? How would you say that rubs off? It's big. Now you see him out here, he's breaking the group down. He has positive vibes. Guys feed off it and guys making plays and, you know, you know, celebrating with each other. But he's just been a really good pro, you know, 
a vet that comes in and is willing to help the young guys and a guy that plays with some energy and some passion for the game, and it rubs off on the entire defense. And, every, and it, it starts trickle down, and that's, that's what we're thriving on, and that's what we're looking to um, do this year.